yeah, this is the part where I say, um, I- I'm just going to skip over the welcomes, and I'm just going to say, uh, we're canceling demiplanes from here on out because uh, Lynn and I need to uh, mentally prepare ourselves for the fact that we finally have plans to physically meet each other in person. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> So uh, mark your calendars, because I'm fairly certain there'll be some shift in the universe. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Last time, we tried to meet, last time we tried to meet, the pandemic shh, happened. Shh, shh, Blaine, shh. No. I'm, Don't I'm say, just saying. No. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Anyway. You're the, one who, you're the one who started it. I started the pandemic. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No. Anyway, <laughs> hey guys, welcome Hi. to uh, Demi Planes and Doodles. Uh, a we're unsupervised. Of, we're we're on. Uns- yes, this is exactly. This is the energy you're getting tonight. Uh, Lynn has been left unsupervised for the weekend. Yes. So um, therefore we're just matching energy in this uh, entire <gasps> stream. So which is why we're late to the stream because we wouldn't shut up. Yeah, we literally would not shut up. We literally just, like, we, we booked our reservations and we just would not stop talking about all the things we're going to do. We're so excited for it. Mm-hmm. I may or may not be uh, dragged into a natural cavern to uh, assimilate with uh, whatever it is uh, that is posing as uh, Lynn. Correct. But we'll find out. We'll, we'll-, we'll find it. I think it is fine. Don't worry about it. It's all right. It'll be a okay. I've been watching way too much. Uh, not watching, excuse me. Listening to uh, way too much old gods of Appalachia. That is some good stuff. I, I Lynn, I cool. You are you are mentally preparing yourself. I am, and I I recommend that you try to give give it a listen if you can because it's the, is it it's, up my alley? I think it's up your is alley, it, honestly. It's got all that. About me? maybe they will maybe uh like okay uh it's 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 a horror anthology so it kind of like and it's broken up into seasons but the seasons in my opinion i feel are just short enough and like the stories are kind of sparsed out at just the right amount that you can like sit and you can like work on your art or like do whatever i usually listen to it at work so it kind of makes my day go quicker but uh and it's uh it's all narrated you by one guy typically except in the later seasons they're starting to get uh guest voice actors in like they've got okay. they got they got yuri lowenthal to uh, voice one of the characters and oh my god i loved him that's awesome but yeah it's it's basically it's presented to you like uh you know uh it, it, it's presented in like you're sitting around a fire and it's just like well hey there family uh I'm gonna tell you a story about uh, Barlow, Kentucky. Excuse me, leave Barlow out of this. No, that is legitimately the first half of season one, is them talking about Barlow, Kentucky. It's fucking nuts, and I love it. Barlow? Barlow, Kentucky. And if you that, ever, and the narrator is if like you ever legitimately get up here. Yes. If you ever get up here, I'm gonna take you to all the haunted things that are around me. I will cry at every single one. Thank you. Cool. Perfect. I need to get me some <laughs> talismans to wear because <laughs> I'm gonna be spooked as hell. I but promise we won't do anything spooky when we meet. Spook- nothing too spooky. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll stand in a haunted house with you, but um, anything beyond that. As long as we're not just, um, going to a cemetery six, at midnight to perform a seance. Six foot, you're six foot tall ass cowering behind mine. Basically, yes. <laughs> I will fold myself in half to hi- hide behind the smaller creatures. Yes, fair. Just lay on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get too off top... Champ, do you have something to contribute to this conversation? No. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> Alright then. He just wants me to pet him. Anyway, so before I get too far off topic. So, uh 
you know, whatever. All the links are down below uh, on our Twitch. You can check out our uh, the Divine and Conquer merch store. I've got some art in there. Lynn's got some art in there. We have uh, that's where our Alistair merch likes to sit, and you can buy some cool uh, merch related to our web comic that is free on Webtoon for you to read. I I do the writing bits. Lynn does the art bits, and it's all art bits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It is all 100% our combined brain cell working together. And boy, does it work hard. Oh my god. No, I know that. Did you get my attention just to tell me that you ripped one really badly in here? Totally! I'm gonna do it! You're disgusting, dog. I willed it. You you did. Lynn, did you? Oh my god. I can't believe you predicted I... my dog would fart in front of me. <laughs> How dare you? Stop like How dare I? Anyway, let's uh, go into that Debbie plane now. Yeah, we're 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 you know, losing our minds. We're, we're like slowly very losing. slowly. We're we're a little too excited right now. All right. So what are we doing tonight, Lynn? Character expressions. Yay! We're just gonna be oh, look at that boy. our our characters pulling some faces. I know that handsome lad. I haven't drawn him older in such a long time. I mean, yeah, since he since he was in my campaign, at least. Oh, look at yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's yelling at someone. He's yelling at Phoebus. <laughs> Phoebus, get off the counter. Put the cheese Phoebus, down. Get off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> no. He just cl clops it. No, I mean, I so. What I said was, uh, Phoebus is the one that climbs on the counters and, you know, gets at the cheese. But, um, he, he's, he's not the one that breaks stuff. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Well, Xavier was the one that broke stuff because he would just run with reckless abandon and the next thing you know, you hear a face crash. Yeah, he, he got... He got the Tatteric legs, unfortunately. He's got, the, he's got those Tatteric legs. I'm gonna save this boy. He's handsome. Handsome. I will never get over older Grayson. I know. <laughs> You've He's had me good hooked since day fella. one. He's a good looking fella. He is. Alright, let me... Alright. Let me get rid of this. Eh. Oh yeah, I should post that we're live in the Discord that we have because we have an Alistair Discord. Probably do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Because sometimes I forget and I'm like, oh no. Babe! Meh! <laughs> Alright. So. Thank you for the input. Babe! Right. So, character expression. Right, did you, I did you him. save this, by the way? I okay. saved him. Good. Goodbye. Handsome boy. Dude, your glasses are gone. Oh, look how handsome he is without glasses. Oh. He's like aged down. <laughs> <laughs> when he takes the glasses off, it's just all business. All business. That's how you know you're in trouble. There you go. Is your dog okay? He just, just wants attention. He just wants attention right now. He's he's gonna be annoying for a bit until he until I decide that or until he decides that he's not gonna get the attention he wants. Okay, Phoebus. Because he he does this thing where uh, he will uh, quietly harass me until I give in and I take him places. But uh, we've already done that, so no. You're gonna lay That's down. That's how I got married to John. Quietly harassed until he took me places. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. And now I'm married. And now you're married. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> yes, thank you. Alright. So. I just, uh, I just stuck around until I was like, um, so, um... <laughs> Uh. What are we? 
Will you be my girlfriend, please? <laughs> Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got... I feel like, as far as character expressions go, my default is, like, the, the like, RBF yeah, look. The, the, the one that, that, that you're the most familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, so character expression. Let's let's talk about that. You you said that you you were taking a class on it. So what what and all? I am. Did, did you get from that? Um, it's it's not really character expressions. It's, it's expressive characters. Oh. So it's more so about um, like using lines and uh, simple shapes to convey a big message. Because they were talking about how, like, if you zoom out from something, all the details you're going to lose. So yeah. all the big things that's going on, you need to have loud. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, in a way that reminds me of, um, it, in in the way, it's kind of on the same principle as stage acting. Because you're going to be an itty bitty dot on a stage for some people that are way in the back. So you better be making gestures and speaking in a way that everybody can can, can understand. Pretty much. Yeah. So, like, that's that. I'm, I'm taking the class on it. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Excited to see where it goes. But like I said, all of all of my characters pretty much have the uh, Oops. the angry face. The angry face. I love a good angry face. I do too. You do good with teeth. I like I like drawing teeth. They're fun. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna do blue. I, know, I, I love drawing expressions that like have a lot of uh, teeth involved. <laughs> you never draw Grayson though, like that though. You never, you never draw Grayson with bare teeth. I've noticed. I don't. I don't typically th think of him um, with those kinds of expressions normally. I know, anytime right? I draw him, he, anytime I draw him, he's just like flirty or like. <laughs> exactly. Maybe that's just because I draw him like how 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 Dis sees him half the time. Yeah. But uh, you know. Way too big. I mean, when it comes to uh. What what's what's something that uh, like outside your own uh, outside your own work like what's what's some like expression or like things that artists do to convey emotion that you like to see? There's this artist that I have been drawing a lot of inspiration from. Uh, their ma their name is Mars, uh -huh. and uh, they are like one of their characters like is a huge. Um, let me finish this boy real quick. They're a huge inspiration to uh, how I draw Luca. Oh yeah. Um, with their mouths, because their mouths, I freaking love how they draw mouths. So I've been slowly teaching myself, like learning how they are doing it and like incorporating it, and I freaking love it. I gotta, I gotta oh, make goodness. this boy real quick. But I'll, I'll draw, I'll, I'll draw that stinky man here in a second. You. But yeah, if I if I see something that another artist is doing that I really like, I'm like, ooh, I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> ooh. Hi, Champers. What do you want? No, he's not as wide as I normally draw him. Strange. Are you feeling ill? <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, yeah, I am. <laughs> I had completely lost my voice up until like a couple hours ago. So I was at work with a little sticky note on my apron that said, I have lost my voice. I cannot talk. And a lot of my coworkers took that as a, oh, so that means I could say whatever the hell I want to you and you can't say anything back? Cool. Jeez. Yeah.
Oh, look at that boy. I love him. <laughs> He's just like, yay! I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> oh my god! Yes? Check chat. Check chat? Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Goodness. Thank you for, for all the for all the gift subs. Wow, thanks. That was a uh, pretty, uh, pretty righteous of you. Righteous. <laughs> yeah. See, see what we did. Okay, the mighty already already did righteous. Righteous. I'm gonna do it too. Bam. Bam. <laughs> you know, because of you, I've started to really like doing like thick bold lines for for specific things. It's great. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, you know, like, I, was I definitely actually, like playing around with, with line weight. Uh, I was actually uh, making a certain somebody earlier today. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was debating on if I wanted to keep the bold black lines or do like a, um, a highlight over it. Because I see a lot of art artists that do that. Like they'll yeah. have um, like their lines change color. Like it's not all stark black. And I tried it, and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> For me, at least. Yeah. I mean, I everybody's love, got I a love, preference. I love seeing it on other people's. I just don't think it works for mine. But so, I tried. So, hey, chat, what's your... Uh... Oh, that's a little too much. What's, what's, uh, what, what are some, like, expressions that you like to see characters make? Like, what are some, like... I guess... Well, let me find a better way to word this. So... In whatever chosen piece of media that you enjoy to consume, uh, what what are some favorite moments that you felt really helped like carry emotion in a scene? I literally love every time you make a like a little chibi face of something. <sighs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing chibi faces. I also like doing them in like because uh, I know I know we discussed it. Um, a few times, like especially with uh, with this boy right here, since he's in the since he's in the comic, and I and I feel like any time that he, there's a shot of him in the background that uh, doesn't have a lot of detail to it because you're trying to focus on something in the foreground, he should just have that face in the back. But then he'll be distracting for everyone else. <laughs> Isn't that just how he is anyway? Yeah, that's how. I, I mean, I feel like he should make the like. Okay, so like, hear me out. Like, all right, so hear me out. So we have like a scene or whatever. Arian's Arian's talking here to like somebody, I guess, and then like he says a joke, and then you cut to a wide shot that shows them kind of a little more pulled out, and then that way you can just have him make that stupid face every time he makes a fucking joke. Listen, Arian is a beloved character. He is a very beloved character. I don't know why, but he is. It's, you know, I, I like him, and that's why I decided to uh, put him <laughs> in a hole in the ground <laughs> for all of you to find. Thanks. You're welcome. It's funny, because I actually rolled for that. Because, uh, like, out of all the encounters that I had going on in that woods, um, I was, like, rolling on a table for Irian, because Irian was also in those woods exploring, and, uh... He ran into Lena, and he's oh he's over here now. Oh no, he found the the Christopher Oaken tree, and he failed he the riddle. Christopher Oaken. Christopher the Oaken. Name itself. He's he's a tree that talks like Christopher Walken. Which is because you think Irian would get the riddle, right? <laughs> you know, I think he did, and just the tree got mad that he got it right, so he just threw him in a hole. You know what? Irian came up with the uh, an answer that works, but it's not the one he was looking for. Yeah, he got pissed off about it. Yeah, he's like, "Shit!" He's like, "God damn it! Get, get in there!" And then him and Lena got trapped in a hole together. 
I'm sure she was thrilled. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> absolutely her worst nightmare. <laughs> So, uh, so Irian like has like a like a cowl on, but I made it look like he has like a turtleneck. <laughs> give, give, he's like one step away from an ascot. Making a turtleneck now. So. Lynn, hear me out. He's got to save the ski resort. Lynn, hear me out. There you go. Yes. Draw Irian as Fred from Scooby Doo. Why? Because. Why do you do these things? Because. Why do you put these things? These things don't. <laughs> they don't need to be Lynn. in existence. Yes, they do. Yes, it does. I I need it. We had an entire Eerian episode. Make 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 him Fred from Scooby Doo. You know it fits. That's why you're mad, because it fits. You can't ignore me forever. I'm ignoring you. Okay. All right. Well, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone. See Thanks. you next time. Good night, everybody. Make sure to tip your waitress on your way out. And... <laughs> I want to. I want to draw Alistair like Fred. You should. I like Alistair is very, very Fred-like. West is Scooby-Doo. Just put him in the collar and that's it. He's just naked with the collar on? I, I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. That's that's some unwanted fan art waiting to happen. That's, I mean, that's just West as a default. Yeah, that's true. It's a shark collar. Oh, Every time no! Comes. Poor guy. The way you're drawing Irian just makes it look like he's mid-joke. He's about to drop the most killer punchline, and he knows everyone's gonna get pissed about it. <laughs> and he is so excited about he's it. He's so he is. Ex oh my god, I relate to Irian on a personal level. Damn it. Do you know Irian? Uh, as a concept, was a random role character. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, I spaced you, out. <laughs> you went you went to space. I did, I went to space for a minute. I, I said, Irian, I said, did you know he was a random role character? I think you told me this before. Yep. And now look at him. <sighs> Why does this always happen to me? I love him, he's great. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, Addy was the same way. Yeah. He was just supposed to be a one-off character that didn't do anything, and now he's everywhere. You got good concepts, bro. <laughs> it's you have okay, so you have the ability to um, essentially take something that comes off of a random role and then able to like build it in such a way that they they become their own standalone characters with like intricate stories. You've got you've got a knack for you know putting putting a story behind these characters. A lot of the time I, I get like, I think of like the story. I do that thing a lot where I come up with an idea and then like I talk to myself for like hours on end trying to figure it all out. Anyone else do that? Is that just me? No, no, that's, that's definitely a thing. I do that too. Okay, cool. I'll yeah, that's basically sit in my head happen. forever. Yeah. I do it a lot at work. Yeah, I mean, you, all you do is stand around and look at art, so. Oh, I come up with some crazy stuff. Just look yep. at that artwork. It's pretty fun. There we go. Um, I actually want to draw Grayson at some point tonight. Okay. Because I was thinking about him today, and I don't know if I ever told you this part, but his original design his clothing and everything uh like okay backing up slightly uh my old dm where grayson originated from is like a polyglot he speaks like six languages and he's like been all over europe and stuff whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. uh but he's a big like travel dude obviously mm -hmm. and so grayson's 
original, like, where he came from, because it was a homebrew, uh, was a town called, well, a city called Noblesse. Okay. And it was based off of the blue city of Morocco. Oh, nice. So Grayson's original concept art and, like, his character is very Moroccan. And I miss drawing that because I haven't done it in such a long time. You should go for it. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, man, I miss that. I mean, you could always incorporate that into his design still. I know, I really should. Like, he had yeah, really cool, like, cl like, a lot of, like, royal clothing from, like, that, like, part of the world is really cool looking. Yeah, do And it. his, uh, his, um, his tiny hut was one of those, like, you know, uh, yeah, I very lavish that for, with, uh... with the, yeah, with the lanterns and, like, the pillows that you sit on the floor and stuff. Oh, it was so cool. This looks like he's about to get pissed off at Arian for, like, saying the thing. Arian, Arian looks like he's asking Dis for advice. This looks and, like he's in a flashback. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, hey, so how do I get this uh, this this lady to uh, you know n to to notice me and like? And Dis is like, you don't want that. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want the He's like, I'm pretty sure I do. No, you don't. <laughs> I think I kinda do. Every time I see Arian, I always like I think of that song from The Waitress. Oh it's yeah. The musical song. Oh my god, it fits him so well. I have a hose song, song for for uh Arian. Oh. Yeah. You should send that to me at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I probably did, but I don't remember if I actually did. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We have. Hello, we've got people. Hi. Hello. Hello. All right, I'm going to read Hello. the chat while you do your thing. I always do my thing. Do you want me, do you want me to shade this as well? Yeah, go for it. Have fun with that. Go, go crazy. Go nuts. All right, all right, all right. Hello, everyone. Let's see, Smolder, Smirks. Let's see, vocal tonal changes for favorite conveying of emotion. Cyberio's art says that the go-to facial expression is distressed. Yes, we know. <laughs> I could not tell. Absolute worry. Always do one it raised eyebrow. Yes, I. I think anytime I draw Zevier, I always do. Anytime I draw, it depends on the character I'm drawing. But anytime I draw, like say Zevier, there's always like a hint of nerves to him. Like, where he's just like, oh, geez, here I go. <laughs> he's like, uh, oh, God, how am I going to mess this up? And I was like, oh, God, watch me mess this one up. Uh, Phoebus is very, like, sassy in his expressions. Very sassy, very self-assured. Uh, Sybil is definitely the, the expression that uh, Kay the Mighty mentioned, where the giant toothy grin that just emanates the you're fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Or just the whole, oh, shit's about to go down face. I feel like uh, anytime we, we draw Tab in, it's a very refined... Very re Yeah, he's very like, refined, very like, poised. Very poised, very refined. Uh, I know for West, it's either I'm drawing him in a rage or I'm drawing him very confused. <laughs> yeah. Which I think Alistair that's... always has a happy face. Alistair's always happy. I love him. We should do some expressions always. for Alistair, I think. Always happy. We're gonna we're gonna happy. do some expressions for Alistair. Because I think well, we need him to go through us go <laughs> through a spectrum. I've I've drawn him 
in complete despair once. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've seen that art. Thank you. I know. It's okay. We'll recreate that at some point. Great. So everyone can enjoy it. Oh, Cyber Rose Art is asking uh, if you have seen the absurdly Grayson-looking shoes that uh, that they have put on uh, the Alistair Art uh, Discord. I have not. Please enjoy those shoes. <laughs> I have looked at them, and they are very... I feel like Grayson would definitely wear them. They just need to be a little higher up. <laughs> It's so no, no. fun to imagine that Grayson originally had just normal boots. Oh, God, I'm clutching my chest. The, the high school AU gave him those thigh highs, and it just never, <laughs> never got rid of them. Right. But, uh, yeah, so if we're going to be doing uh, character expressions, I thought I could try a challenge... Ooh. And uh, if anybody else wants to join in with their own sketchbooks or art programs or what have you, uh, essentially what I'm going to do is um, you can pick a character, any character, and uh, I'll, I'll, I have a random emotion generator. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to click that button, I'm going to have it pop up a random emotion, and uh, we can draw it. boys I feel like I I always draw Grayson is like kind of sassy kind of sassy sassy or like he, he's always got like the one eyebrow up always that's a default of mine. I mean, yeah, um, the, the judgmental I'll, eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, he's he's either like I'm done with this shit, or he's like sassy, flirty, sassy look flirty, to yeah. him. I think my favorite one that that you've drawn is uh, the one where he's holding the mug and he's just going, "Oh, honey." <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alistair always has a happy face for the most part. Um, He's a happy boy. Teddy is usually just super chill. <laughs> In other words, dead inside? No, he doesn't have, like, he's not upset about anything. <laughs> Please laugh at my joke. I know. I... It... <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Been dead inside. <laughs> He's just like we're all dead inside. Um, he just looks like he's stoned. <laughs> there you go, perfect. So I guess just to preemptively prep for this. What character would you want to do for this? Um, I'll do Alistair. Okay. Then I guess I'll do West. We could probably just use the entire canvas the whole time. And just do sketches. Don't have to put too much into it. Let's see if I can find other exercises. Oh, Arian. I love him. Okay. Okay. These boys are done. Boys are done? Alright, let me save them. I'm not gonna give them a highlight, that's just too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, 
All right. So I got that saved on my end. Cool. You got yours? You, you good? We good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Me. Bop. 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 It's just like a big red blob. I mean, yeah. That is an accurate description. All right. I'm going to use purple for my color. I'm just be on the sketch layer. I don't know. Let me do a little darker. Allie's going to be red. Perfect. All right. Like okay. Alright, so are we ready for this? Let's randomize. Oh boy. Alright, so first one. <laughs> so first one. <laughs> oh man, Rosette, if you're following on this one, I think you might have this in the bag. <laughs> uh -oh. uh fir first expression is fright. <laughs> Fright. Fright. Okay. Like you've been frightened. Alright. Got this. Do, should I expand the canvas? If you want. Because I figure we just do like little sketches like that. Oh! Oh, hello. Dis. Dis. God damn it. <laughs> Dis, why are you so large? Grayson sighs wistfully. <sighs> what is what is something that would frighten Alistair? My first, first instinct, first thought, someone not washing their hands. Oh my god. <laughs> when you ask, I, I answer. That, I, that's a very good answer, actually. I like that's that. That's like the first thing that came to my mind. I know exactly what would frighten West. A spider. <laughs> no, that's Phoebus, actually. Oh. Phoebus is very scared of spiders. Oh. Although, it would make sense for West to be scared of spiders, because uh, his first... In his first... Uh, well, second session, first official session after session zero, uh, we were in a dungeon that was filled with spider creatures. Ew. And uh, he was hanging upside down by some web. That was like our introduction to the party. And we cut ourselves free. And then there's like a corpse on the ground and it shuffles, like it moves slightly. And he's just like, oh, what the fuck is that? And he leans in and then a giant spider launches out of the corpse and latches onto his face. And I'm like, that would have been traumatizing. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, Wes did not end up with the fear of spiders. <laughs> Is this their mouth? Yes, that's this was hard line. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I, that's a that's a mood. <laughs> I know exactly what moment this is. Can you guess what moment this was in game? Which one? Uh, so I'm drawing. <laughs> uh, we're doing expressions. So the expression that we're conveying is fright. So I'm drawing West. Lynn's drawing Alistair. Do you remember this exact moment in game? Is this when West opened the chest that had the doll on yes, the Yes, so it was exactly the moment when West opened the chest and there was a doll on the inside and, and he stared at it and then the doll moved and he just closed the chest. It's like, nope. <laughs> he just went, uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the moment where West was like, there is true evil in this world. 
funny. When I draw Wes without his beard, he looks like like Dan. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> he looks like Dan. Ooh. I know what that is. <laughs> Poor Alistair. <laughs> See, some, see somebody walk out of the restroom without washing their hands. Yeah. <laughs> and on that day, he knew humanity could not be trusted. So, distressed bro noises. Distressed bro noises. This is almost the exact face that um, West is making in the emote that we have on our uh, on our Discord. Oh yeah, you're right. So this could also be uh, the face he makes whenever he wears a shirt. That would be frightening for West. <laughs> So what was a uh, frightening moment for for anybody in in their own like in real world in real life or sure let's do that in real life in games in stories and etc. Like what's what's a moment where truth? Well, I don't want to say truth, right? I don't want anybody to bring up any unwanted memories, but, uh... Time. When I was, like, eight, that I had, like, a true fright moment. Yeah. Uh... It was a haunted house at my elementary school. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. How'd that go for you? Do you like haunted houses? Yeah, they're fine. Like, I, I can't, that's whatever. Like, I hate haunted houses. <laughs> I know you do. I get scared. It was one of those, like, things where, uh, like, at the very end, there's the guy with the chainsaw, but there's, like, no chain on the chainsaw, so it's just making noises. Oh, okay. Uh, I distinctly remember freaking out and, like, backing up into my mother. Aww. Like, trying to, like, reverse out of wherever the fuck we were. Itty bitty Lynn. Yes. I do remember that being absolutely terrifying. I, uh, I've got one. Oh, yeah? So, I think I was either 11 or so, 11 or 12. I, I, somewhere in the middle school margin. And, um, I think around that time period. So, this also, if, if we want to do a deep dive into my psyche and things that have traumatized me in my life, uh, my fear of dolls came from a doll that my mother had that she gave to me. And it's like this, this, ba it's like this baby doll from like the 1950s or whatever, where like if you, if you dip it back, its eyes close and all that shit, you know. Oh, I hate, I hate those. Yeah, I hate them too. Um, and uh, her name was Nancy. And, cause, yeah, because she gave it a name. And uh, that thing had sat in my room for the entirety of my life up until, like, maybe high school. Well, I think up until this incident, actually. Up, up until this incident that happened. So, this doll had been in my living space for years. And... I hated the damn thing because it creeped me out to no end. Because it was just, and, and also because my brother would like walk in and he'll like poke the eyeballs out because, you know, he's an asshole like that. 
others. Yeah. So it looked even creepier. And then I would get yelled at because the eyeballs would be poked down and we gotta get the eyeballs out. Anyway, so I was having a sleepover at my house and it, it was like if, like like some kids that I went to school with at the time. Because my parents were like, sure, have a sleepover. You need a, hang out with people, please. So <laughs> there was a sleepover at my house and uh, we were just up kind of late just kind of hanging out and talking and then it, it got we got on the topic of like ghost stories or whatever because you know it's a sleepover we gotta tell spooky stories i guess and then it was like oh i gotta go get something out of my bedroom because we weren't in my bedroom we were in the um we were sleeping in the living room because for some reason my parents would prefer we were sleeping in an open space as opposed to just being locked up in my room or whatever i don't know so we were sleeping in like the living space and then I, I had to go get something out of my room but I was creeped out because of the ghost story and I was like can y'all come with me to my room to go get this thing with me and they're like yeah okay and they go and like we have our flashlights because phone lights didn't exist then <laughs> we had our flashlights we go to my room and like I was looking for my thing I don't remember what the fuck it was and somebody made a comment about the doll that was sitting on my bookshelf which was Nancy and they're like, you're like, yeah, that's a creepy fucking doll. And I'm like, yeah, she's just, you know, something that I have to live with. She really creeps me out. They're like, is it haunted? And I was like, no, I don't think it is. And then right as I say that, the hand moves down. Ew. And we all book it the fuck out of that room. And we all huddle behind the couch. And we're like, no, no, we did not see that. That did not happen. Fuck that shit. That's horrifying. And at the same time, the so the living space that we were staying in was down the hall, like straight, like, because I know Squidly in chat knows the layout of my house. So knowing where my bedroom is in the hallway that goes straight into like that uh, kind of like uh, living space area with like the couch and the TV and stuff. And um, we were like freaking out. We were hiding by the furniture and we were staring down that hallway, like flashlights off, just like freaked out because we're like what the fuck just happened and then we see a shadow like like a silhouette peek out from my room like Ew. that was like at like i would say doll height and we all just like froze and we're like we're gonna die tonight we're gonna die <laughs> and then it walks out and it turns out to be my fucking cat <laughs> and i'm like you fucking asshole <laughs> So that was my experience. <laughs> Jesus. I hated it. <laughs> Weird stuff happened at um, my mom's house when I lived there oh, after God. my dad had passed. My dad and my uncle had passed. Weird stuff happened in that house. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> Big oof. I experienced stuff, John experienced stuff, my mother experienced stuff, the whole party. I don't think I've ever experienced an actual, like, person haunting, I should say. It's only ever been pets for me, because the only time, uh, like, anything would happen would be, like, because we, we had a lot of pets growing up, so, like, if a, like a dog died or a cat died and we had to we naturally we had our own pet cemetery in the backyard which is my personal joke because you know animal passes away all right we just go and bury them in the yard that's what we do because we're old-fashioned like that and uh, it would usually be like a week or so like after that happens when like we swear we like hear like the tag or something or like my mom would be like oh i thought i saw my dog in the bathroom with me and i was like that's fucking weird weird yeah I've never oh, had, wait, i think i never, never had pets the only people yeah no i had okay well i don't know if i want to count this as a person because i still don't know to this day mm. but uh that one time, I don't know if I talked about it on here. I probably did, and I just, you know, blocked it out because I consistently block this memory out. But uh, when I was in college, I had some classmates that, um, 
decided to trick me into going to a cemetery with them at midnight and this wasn't just like a, a any old cemetery this was a, a cemetery out in the middle of nowhere bumfuck east texas where the dirt roads don't got signs and you sure as shit don't got any street lights either and uh they found for some reason they find this cemetery in the middle of fucking nowhere and i somehow get convinced or I should say I was tricked into going because they're like, hey, let's go hang out. And I was like, okay. And I hop in their car and then we just go driving. Which realistically, that was stupid on my part. <laughs> yeah, that was your, your fault there. That's on me there because I just hopped in someone's car and just went with it. And uh, we went to a cemetery, and then everybody started grabbing candles and shit. And I was like, "What the fuck are we doing?" They're like, "Oh, we're gonna do a séance." Yeah, I don't, I don't mess with it. I like spooky stuff. Don't mess with that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't like to mess with that kind of stuff. I, I was, it was either wait in the car by myself or sit with them in a graveyard. Honestly, wait in car by yourself sounds like the best option out of that. It, uh, it honestly does. But I think I was afraid of being left alone. <laughs> Hello? Don't do that. No, sir. <laughs> but yeah, we were uh, sitting in a cemetery and they started calling on uh, spirits and stuff. No. And they, and they f I remember they found one one particular gravestone that they wanted to try because they liked the they thought the name was funny because it was like a nickname or something. Rude. Yeah, I know. Why did we make them shirtless? I made Wes shirtless because this is his default state. I don't know why I'm really shirtless, but he is. He just got out of the shower and someone didn't wash their hands. He's somebody like, ah! He just watched somebody walk out of a stall, did not wash their hands. <laughs> uh paladin orders with their communal showers i'm so sorry alistair i know poor guy <laughs> anyway yeah anyway. continue with your story oh god anyway uh so basically we we you know do the whole you know the, the whole kit and caboodle with the seance stuff uh and as i'm sitting there having to hold hands with people and like my whole thing was i did not want to see whatever the fuck was happening so i had my eyes closed the whole time because i'm like i'm not i don't i am not a part of this i'm just here i'm sitting in this salt circle because i think it's the safest space to be right now <laughs> and um as the, as they're trying to like call on a spirit or whatever, like one of the one of the girls claimed she was clairvoyant, but I think in the sense of I I don't know they they watched like an episode of like what's it called <laughs> Ghost Adventures I forgot the name of it. It's like what the fuck was the name of that show? I still watch. They watched this. they watched the craft and now they are. They, yeah, basically, they watch the craft and they're just like, oh, I can sense spirits. And I'm like, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> what, you, what you sense is the AC turning on. Guys, there's a cold spot. Oh Stand God. next to an open fridge. God, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, they, they claim they were clairvoyant or whatever. And they're just like, oh, I sense a spirit coming. And I'm like, please don't. <laughs> they can leave, please. And uh, as as this whole thing was going on, I hear like from maybe like a hundred feet back, footsteps walking in the grass. And these yeah, yeah. were like so, the gravestone we were sitting by was for a child. These footsteps sounded like a grown person. No. Nope. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, I don't like this. Absolutely not. And like I hear the footsteps walk all the way from a hundred feet back to stand right behind me and I go, I hate this. <laughs> Can we leave? So, uh, yeah, I don't. There's a guy at my work who claims he has the sight. The sight? And he, was he was telling me all about, like, the things you, like, supposedly the museum's haunted. 
Because of okay. course it is. That would make sense, honestly. So I'm not mad about that. Okay, it's fair. I, uh... The crazy, the crazy things he's seen there over the years, because he's worked there for, like, ever. So cool. I, I hate, like hearing I hate, about it. I don't. I, hate, I don't want to be involved in it. Yeah. I mean, I I always take it with a grain of salt whenever people are like, "Oh, I have the sight," or "Oh, I can sense things," and I'm just like, I kind of want to test them <laughs> in the moment. Mm -hmm. Just be like, "So, can you see him right now?" <laughs> yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Good. 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 Okay. Good. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm gonna read through chat real quick. But like, but like me and John, like we we love going to haunted things. Mm -hmm. Um, like we went to the Stanley Hotel. We went yeah. to we've gone to um, it's called Bobby Mackey's here. Both of you have all went to Bobby Mackey's. Oh, it was yeah, fun. You want you want to take me there? That's right. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna read through some ghost stories on chat because that'll help me sleep at night. <laughs> Alright, so from Kane the Mighty, we used to have a spirit that lived in the house that I'm currently living in. She would walk the halls, not saying anything or doing anything malicious, just being there and walking the halls. Myself and quite a few others saw her many times, a lady all in white standing at the opposite end of the hall from the <laughs> He like vomited midway through that. <laughs> I don't I I can't do ladies in white, they freak me the fuck out. Oh god, that's so no, no thank you. Absolutely not. I just... I don't know. Anytime, anytime there's like a story about a lady in white, I just immediately feel threatened. <laughs> See, Cyber Rosard. All my frights are boring like medical scares. I mean, those are pretty scary. <laughs> Uh, or one time when I was horseback riding on the cliffs up by the Hollywood sign and my horse just stopped in the back of the pack. I was panicking, panic thinking I was going to be left behind. I was like six. That's a very legitimate fear to have, though. And you were six, so it's okay. I know a lot of creepy things happen, but it had to do with all the items that I'm not allowed to bring out. Because yeah, you're not allowed to. Why are you bringing them here? I think you should sell them to an oddity shop. Look. Loretta has found a nice home with Shelby. Yeah, she can stay with Shelby. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Let me tell you, my heart stopped when I was unpacking Tabitha's things and I find a glass jar with a corn husk doll in it. With no <clears throat> face on it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm cursed. Have a face. I'm cursed now. From Cyber Rose Art. Uh, Alistair just saw Wes leave without washing his hands, and Wes just saw Alistair catch him now wash his hands. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happens. That checks out. That definitely checks out. It's like, why do I need to wash my hands if they're just gonna get dirty again? <laughs> I forgot his little Gross. That's also the faith Alistair makes when uh, West brushes his hair. Alistair's hair. <laughs> Just knots. <laughs> Just all knots. So it's uh, so it's like, it's totally fine that uh, that I can braid your hair. Yeah, bro, it'll be fine. And then he starts doing it. He's like, oh no, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Hold on, Mia. There we go. Let's see. Bro. From Squidly, when I was younger, there were woods uh, across a drainage ditch from my house and a couple of other bright, uh, yes, okay. All right, so a bunch of, me and a bunch of kids made a bridge, quotations around bridge, out of a couple of two by fours, I mean, that's a bridge, and decided to explore. They got, they got all weirded out and halted when we were near the edge of the wooded area. I kept going and got turned around and I was doing okay until out of the corner of my eyes I kept seeing people in white moving around me. Blech. No thanks. Dale was supposed to be a ghost? Stop it. I don't like that. I would have been thoroughly spooked. It's 
So you want to know something like unintentionally hilarious, but also creepy? Go ahead. I got a little. So, uh, so we we moved into our apartment like last year, and it's got some like wooden like cabinets, and the doors are wooden and stuff. And uh, on the back of our door, mm-hmm. our bathroom door, it, it is etched into uh, the wood above the doorknob. It says, "We got you." Who got who? I don't know. It just says, know. "We got you." There we were kids you. that used to live here, and they used to like fuck around with the uh, like scratching stuff on like the uh, the wood. Honestly, that's like my favorite thing. Like, is uh. People thinking it's cryptids, but actually it's just locals who are bored as shit. Yeah, pretty much. That's great. Oh, that's a lovely uh, frightened Fafrin in uh, the Discord. <laughs> All right, so there's our frightened bros. Uh, Hot Mess Express says next expression: seeing their love walk down the stairs in a gorgeous ball outfit. Oh. Can you please draw that diss's expression? <laughs> I need that. I need that. Hold on, let because me I know what it is. You know exactly what it exactly, is. I know exactly what the expression is. Oh, let me save these guys real quick. All right. Dis, one of the lords of the nine hells seeing his husband come down and like this just stunning suit gorgeous right. corset vest thigh high boots laced up all the way god damn I just need you to draw Grayson in that outfit now uh, <laughs> me... oh did you get this saved I haven't been saving them but just go ahead I trust you <laughs> I kind of like that lineless Alistair, not gonna lie. <laughs> I love West's eyeballs! Oh! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Mr. Diss, Lord of the you Nine Hells. Take up. Uh oh, some of Alistair's braids still left there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Alistair, get off the screen, your hair's too beautiful. Alley oopsie. I made an alley oopsie today with a mushroom. <laughs> I, would you like to, to to retell that anecdote? So, so I was walking my dog and I was talking to Vic and I I saw these two mushrooms out growing out in the lawn. We've got a lot of mushrooms growing around me recently, um, and I got I got really excited. So I was like, oh my god! So I I started filming. Uh, and I went over to it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, mushroom! And then I started like patting it on the, the mushroom cap, and I'm like, look at it, it's so springy, and I immediately break it, and then I'm like, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just wanted to touch it. Just just wanted to touch it. Oopsies. Oopsie daisy. I brought alley oopsies. Definitely Alistair moment. It's a good Alistair moment. He would even say oops. Alley oopsie. I feel like he would say sorry to the mushroom too. Oops, sorry, bro. Oh my god. Headphones keep like knocking into each other. There we go. Alley oopsies. I love this expression on him. Yeah. You know, seeing the love of his life walk down the stairs. It's just pissed off. That's just his his his, his face he always makes. <laughs> Only Grayson can decipher it. <sighs> it's the tail that gives it away. Yes, absolutely. I'll just do the lines for this. Yeah. 
He's just standing there, just like looking all pissed off. And everyone's just like, God, what the fuck's this problem? Grayson's just like, oh, he loves it. God, what's his problem? It's walking down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell's your problem, man, over there? <laughs> that right there. That right there, coming down the <laughs> stairs. He loves him, though. <laughs> Keep forgetting his nose ring. so wide. I, I know. I love it. It's been a while since I've actually, like, drawn him, so. It's been a while since I've, like, properly drawn anything. Just been so, I don't want to say busy, but. Doing other stuff. Doing other, you know. Life. Life. I'm trying to think what the last like actual like art piece I've done was. So I remember I was trying to sit down this week to draw, and then my tablet just decided, oh, I'm not gonna read on this computer whatsoever, and I went, well, fuck this. He was like, okay. I'm like, all right, fuck me, I guess. You know, yeah, life stuff. I think the most productive thing I've done this week was like write my two weeks notice for work. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Fuck Congrats. this place, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. I'm so thankful it's gonna be over soon. Because <laughs> boy, was today bullshit. <laughs> Oh, the snort of steam. <laughs> there we go. That is the expression of a man saying love of his life. Oh, <laughs> there, oh we go. there it is. Yep. There it is. That's the face. That is 100% his face. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see Grayson like being so handsome coming down the stairs and he takes he takes Dis's arm and Dis just goes fuck you. <laughs> it's like he, Grayson comes down the stairs and he's just like, you know, completely just milking it the whole way and then Dis oh, just gets to the bottom of the stairs and Dis is just like about fucking time. <laughs> Took you long on it long enough shit. <laughs> Shoves him. It's just like, I'm sorry that I have to make an entrance everywhere I go. It's like, yeah, well, your entrance is making a slate for our dinner reservations. <laughs> I had a joke, keeping it to myself. God damn it. <laughs> I know what the joke is. Good. Good. Brain cell. Uh... Wire transfer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna save this dis. Okay. Because he's adorable. Whiskey. Stop scraping out the carpet like a weirdo. All right, let me get rid of him. But up. Yep. All right, who's next? Uh, well, let me let me pull an expression out of the thing. Someone, someone, give me a character. Any character. Any character in the world. Go. And next expression is... Oh no, are you sure you want any character? Yes. Who you is sure? it? Tell me. Well, I, I have your I have your emotion. Okay. It's, uh... Smugness. Smug! Oh, I have so many that fit smug. <laughs> you have so many. 
So many. So many. I can't think. You know what? Actually, I can't think of a, th of, of a single character of yours that uh that that smug at all. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Stranger. <laughs> I'd love to see a girl stranger being smug. Because we have uh, we have suggestions of Rancor and we have Stranger. Ooh. I think it's always, I think it's always interesting to try to draw, you know, expression with like non-human faces. Hey, suck at that! I am not good with anthro stuff. Yeah, but you need to practice. Cause uh, you have some anthro characters that you need to draw. I know. Like the closest thing, the closest thing I have to an anthro character is Augur. Uh, excuse, we have this beautiful baby. Aw, look at her. I can't imagine her being smug ever. All right, enough of that dated meme. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll draw oh. Rancor. You can have Stranger. Stranger's super easy to draw smug, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm trying to remember how to draw Stranger. Uh, disgusting. Typically like, yeah, yeah very angled. Malnourished looking, dare I say. Looking like he's never uh, bathed in a lifetime. Send me send me a picture of a picture of him real quick on, okay, okay, okay. on Messenger. Oh shit, what's the last fucking picture I've drawn a straight Actually I oh I have my new sketchbook right here where I have drawn him. Perfect. Please. Oh damn it. I got one of those sketchbooks where I can't tell which side is like the right side to open it at. Here, I have my entire page of Stranger. Excellent. Because I just have a, a doodle page dedicated to him. Boop. Look at that bastard. He... he he, he obviously looks like a person that could obvi obviously be trusted with your life insurance policy. Alright, let me draw a Rancor. Smug, smug boy. Because they have oh, let's fan his little ear fins out. Excellent. Yes, you're using the mouth. Okay, this is the mouth that I'm I'm teaching myself how to draw. I know, I uh, love it. It's, it's uh, I use a lot for Luca. Uh, it's an artist uh, I found on Pinterest. His name is Mars. And he does a comic called uh, 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 Long Exposure. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's about, uh, it's basically like 
it's a world of like magic, but it's like set in um, like modern times. Mm -hmm. But like, it's about a bully who falls in love with the guy he was picking on. Oh. So the bully is like this disgusting, like tall, lanky, gross guy in love with like the guy he bullies and they wind up like dating and stuff and they were like childhood friends it's so good Aww. but i i love this guy's like expressions especially how he draws mouths because i i am i struggle with mouths so i found something that i really like so now i'm i'm no. using that ah so good I love drawing lizard faces. They're so cute. I like drawing garbage men. <laughs> yes, we know. You have a brand. Garbage. Like, yes, what a quality piece of garbage you have there. A quality specimen. <laughs> oh, just ripe with fermentation. <laughs> Shit, I gotta remind myself. I gotta feed my sourdoughs, speaking of fermentation. Do not leave them unattended! Do I will not leave my sourdoughs unattended, thank you. You did once. Right. Listen. It happened once, never again. Oh! Clip fucking goddamn draw pile with your Non-existent stabilization. I not hate it. Yeah, fix these, I don't like them. You are quoted as a. Uh, you're quoted with the da the Danny DeVito quote from "It's Always Sunny." What's that? I'm the trash man. Trash. I just had an I just had a West moment. I need you to know that right now. Oh yeah. I uh, I was clicking between uh draw pile and Twitch, and uh, I thought I could draw on drop on on uh, Twitch because I thought it was our draw pile. Cannot do that, friend. I, I tried. Oh, I tried. Oh my god, did I try? <laughs> I remember I, uh... Back when uh, I was reading, like my dad's uh, kind of his his first what's the word? Uh, fuck his his basically his first run through of his um, of his book. Mm -hmm. I drew uh, I drew some of his characters that um, made an appearance in it, and one of them is uh, spoiler alert. I drew him on the color layer. <laughs> oh, stranger. Son of a bitch. There. Rancor's laughs at your pain. Good job. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, this was supposed to be in the first book, but then he changed it around. Anyway, as... There's going to be some characters that are portrayed later on, because in this setting there's mutants, and mutants have different mutations, and etc, etc, etc. So, uh, one of them was uh, essentially a lizard man, and I wanted to draw him out because I wanted I was so fascinated with the concept of, of a person turned lizard, and what that would look like. And so I made myself a little, like, reference sheet. 
I think it's on my Facebook somewhere. Uh, I made a reference sheet of like building off of this idea of what this lizard dude would look like, and how that would like work anatomically and all this stuff, and drawing like expression on him and stuff. Because I'm like, how do you take um, like a reptile face that's like so you know rigid and bony, and try to like translate like human expression onto it? It was a fun little study that I did. Nerd. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm just walk, kidding. I'm That's really, your house right really now. cool. Get over here. I'm, walk, I'm just gonna start walking right now. Bring the chalky milk. I have chalky milk right here. Yeah, but do you have the 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 qu most quality chalky milk? True milk? The, uh... <laughs> I, I looked it up. It's called Volman's. Is that the stuff in the glass? Yes, it's the one in the glass bottle. It comes in a glass bottle. That's how fancy it is. Oh, we gotta find some of that. Yeah. I don't... I Because this is a tech, a local Texas brand, so I don't know if uh, where we're going is gonna have it, but uh, I'll bring it with me. I'll just uh, stash that in my suitcase. Shit, now the hard part's getting the color right. That seems that seems correct. She doesn't want blue. <laughs> she don't want blue. Bitches love blue. I just imagine that's eerie and polymorphed into a bird. Yeah, it's exactly that's exactly what I imagine. Yeah. He just wants to impress Lena and just give her nice pretty pebbles that he finds. Love Lena. I was like, Lena, Poor Lena. Lena, please. Ben is a hoe. Ben is a hoe. Have, have you drawn Ben? You need to draw Ben. No! I need to draw Ben. What if it's not Ben? Or what if he thinks his name is Ben? What if it's just Luca? Oh, ew! <laughs> he, just, he just thinks, uh... He just he just thinks Luke is the one that uh is is catching Lena's attention. Ew. I I just like the the thought of like Irian like right. going up to Luca trying to start something and Luca's just like sitting there picking at his teeth. Oh god. Like yeah. huh? Who are you? <laughs> oh sorry, do I know you? Do I owe you something? How tall is Luca? Luca! I think he's only like 5'9. Oh, okay. He's not terribly tall. Oh, alright. Well then. To be fair, Rock Rocco's not really that tall either. I mean, and I say this like in in comparison to my characters who are all like six feet tall. I mean, yeah, that's to, to me, to me, uh, you know, those heights are very tall. <laughs> anything, uh, anything six foot and above is tall. Well, I'm just saying, uh, like five nine. I was saying he's not that tall. I'm like five nine is fucking tall to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I uh, I will not apologize for my presence. <laughs> I need to, I'll start getting leg guards to protect you myself. 
get 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 those started. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, I want to set up a GoFundMe for uh, potential uh, knee surgery because I'm about to get my <laughs> shit wrecked. <laughs> How oh, red is stranger? I, see, uh, I, feel like... I say cherry red all the time when I describe like him. Like annoyingly red, I should say. Is this a good red? Yeah, it's a good red. Like he, you walk into a room and ah, shit, there he is. He looks like a he looks like a pepper. He's like a pe yeah. I am quite the spicy pepper. Boy. I kind of want Rancor's tongue to be blue because skinks are cool. It probably it probably be like a purple, wouldn't it? Yeah, kind of. I think. Yeah, I like yeah. the skink kind of looking. There we go. What? What? That's a good ranger boy. So uh, I, I don't know if I told you, but Luca has a fan, like a, like a uh, someone fawning over him in a in a in a in a thing I'm in. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm very worried for them. They they have openly admitted to telling me that they they love like just disgusting like cre like uh, characters because they have one as well, and I'm they're like, go oh my gosh. stranger right now. I'm just gonna, I should hide the stranger. My biggest fear is that anybody would find him attractive. Does he have pink eyes? What color, what color eyes does stranger have? Uh, piss yellow. Cool. <laughs> like his teeth. Like jaundice, almost. There you go. Beautiful. It's funny because originally I used to have his hair in a top knot, and now I'm just like, you know, I, I think he needs to let the greasy hair fly. Yeah, it's not gonna fly, it's too greasy. <laughs> it just flops. He takes it out of the top knot and it just stays up there. Oh god. My scalp hurt just thinking about it. The shadows make him so ominous. He looks like he's plotting oh, something. When is he not? At this next get rich, uh, get rich quick scheme. Car insurance. <laughs> you may not know what the car is yet, but boy, I guarantee you, once they once they start showing up, they will sell like hotcakes. Are you tired of stepping in animal crap all along the street? May I introduce you to engine that will absolutely suffocate you with toxic fumes? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you know? And the off chance that I ever, ever do play him in a game. He is going to be the kind of person that uh, will make modern day references because he's a divination wizard, he just sees into the future, but everyone thinks he's just fucking nuts. I mean... I mean, he yeah. is fucking nuts, but, uh... <laughs> there's, there's absolutely zero credibility happening. <laughs> 
one day everyone's just going to be stuck in their little scrying devices and never and never look at the real face again. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, he looks so so scary. I know. <laughs> I'd be afraid. I'd be afraid of him. I mean, I I genuinely would like if I ever met Stranger in real life. I guarantee you, I would be terrified of looking him in the eye. <laughs> Mostly because I don't know what direction they're going. Look both ways. And all of this started because of one random drunk Russian man that showed up at an IHOP several years ago. Amazing where char characters come from. Right? <laughs> I have to read this off chat, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This one's from Cyberos Art. My newest get rich quick scheme combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I'm at the Pizza Hut! I'm at the Taco Bell! <laughs> Another combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. Oh, stranger. Goodbye, stranger. <laughs> I'm gonna click there, the next emotion just to see what happens. I gave him the ominous lighting. I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> Was it zesty? No, it's madness. Oh yeah, we don't need that. We don't. I, I think I think we've we've done a, enough dark timelines in our career. <laughs> This takes its toll. Please have exact change. <laughs> the next one is Bliss. I think I should skip that one. <laughs> My brain went the wrong direction. Some images of Bliss, but I don't think I can post those. Yeah, it's like I've I've drawn some some Grayson art that I should not post anywhere. Let's see, there's interest. I, I, I think this 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 thing is broken now. Hunger, love. Oh, we've already drawn a smitten disc. Humility. What is happening here? All of these are bad. All oh, these are terrible. Rage. I mean, you did that with the with yeah. West. Oh. Kind of, with this, you mean? With this, yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Let me save these guys. I think this is a good one for us. It's a good, it's a good one to leave off on. Since uh -oh. we're getting to that time. Uh, I got confusion. Okay. <laughs> so, so West. Yes. Uh, who should I draw for confusion? Which one of my boys? Who gets to be confused? God, that's horrifying. <laughs> what lair is that? Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, okay. For a second it wasn't deleting and I was very frightened. <laughs> hmm. I mean, we could either do Confusion, or uh, the next one that I clicked was Sorrow, if we want to draw some sad faces. I don't draw a sad face! Alright, so can- alright, alright, alright. There's Surprise, Remorse, alright, stop it. Satisfaction? Nope, can't Sa post those. Sa <laughs> sadness keeps coming back. Nope, not happening. Shame, happen. no, stop it. Contempt, oh, I know somebody who's good for that face.
Jan makes an excellent contempt face. He does. Disappointment. I'll just draw this again. <laughs> just staring off to the side like, god damn it. I think we should end with some happy boys. I think so too. Alright, who are you drawing? I don't know. You tell me. Who am I doing? Uh, good, good question. Should I draw? Should I draw Dre on happy? Sorry, that didn't compute for me. Sorry, I did not did not understand what you just said. I, 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 that sentence did not complete in my head. Uh, <laughs> I think... Huh. You're happy? What? <laughs> Whomst? Whomst? No, I genuinely did not hear what you said. Oh, I said auger. Auger? Ew. <laughs> Jeez! What a reception! I mean, it's auger. Yeah, if he's happy, it means it's not good. <laughs> uh, who else do I got? Zero, I've got. What Zebras, if... we've got. You, you, know, you oh, can draw Severus, you can draw. What if, what if you drew. Uh, what if you drew the holiest of bros as a happy boy? Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. Who I'm gonna draw. Happiness in my D and D. Since I've drawn this guy. Oh, I think I know how I want to draw. Like how it's gotten quiet. <laughs> the, the, we're, we're working every very time, hard. every time. It's, it's how you know we need we need the brain capacity to concentrate. Yeah, God, she's so cute.
Aw, look at that smile. Aw, she's so cute. Isn't she? Rosette has uh, confirmed with us that Happy Thaffron is the most cursed Thaffron. Yeah. Oh no. I'd ask what happened, Thaffron, but uh... They're so cute. So excited for what you're drawing. pull up reference. <laughs> God damn it. Except so much space. <laughs> so much space. Do I need to move? No, he's fine. Did the thing. How dare it. Okay, I lied. The most productive thing I've probably done this week is make Ferris's character sheet. <laughs> Look how cute! Oh my god, she's so precious. I love her. Ferris is truly best girl.
actually, let me. Right now, the fun part is trying to remember Ferris's collars. Yes, champ, what would you like to contribute to this conversation? Okay. Oh, he looks so good. I like his little, his little stubby ears. They're cute. They both have them. Yeah. out again. Could you not want this as your deity? I absolutely would love to have that man as my deity, thank you. Seems like a really, really cool guy. Is that about the right color for the vestments, or are they like... They're a light blue. Light blue. Like, they're a... They're like, hold on, uh... Like that. Oh, okay. Like a... Boop. There yeah. we go. Almost, almost a periwinkle, but more on the blue side. Ah, oh, gotcha, okay. I don't know why I was thinking more greenish blue. I think it's because um, a lot of times when I do shadings on it, it turns that like a turquoisey color. Yeah, that's probably it. Hers is a collar. That's so cute. Yeah, I think it's cute. She's like one of those little stray kittens that you find at a church and 
Everyone's like, oh yeah, that's the church cat. She just showed up one day. Yep, she just showed up one day. And Sister Sarah said, I'm, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I think she did that with all the paladins, though. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a really cool dude to sit and have a conversation with. Rosart says it somehow makes makes me more sad to draw him happy because he's never gonna actually feel that way in canon. Oof. Big oof. I saw that. I'm trying to figure out what layer it was on. <laughs> How are you gonna do his eyes? Like this. Ooh, let me see. First, I gotta do this. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then I do. Kind of looks like he's gonna shoot lasers out of his eyes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> kind of just Which is bit. exactly how how he would want it. <laughs> I mean, if I was a, if I got to choose how I looked as a deity, having my eyes glow twenty four seven does seem like a really nice choice. Just like I just want to look otherworldly and and somewhat threatening. have this deity descend from the heavens and everyone's like oh shit and then he's just like yeah sup little dude you making s'mores right there can i join you <laughs> let me just <laughs> scooch on in makes his own seat he makes, just makes his own it chair he's like fucking 12 feet tall just makes his own chair and just sits down it's like nice every time i look at the the poster with him on it i'm like he is he, they're both very tall they're very i mean yeah i have i have that poster i need to get a frame for it because it's very nice very and, tall very tall i need this i need to find a spot to put it i can't decide if i want it like hanging in my room by my desk so i could stare at it all the time while i work or if i want it in my living room so it can be a nice conversation piece for the people that 
sometimes show up. <laughs> Be like, oh, this, this right here, yeah. I really do love Frat's design. Fun. Google some things real quick. Uh huh. Because. Because why? It's stuff we talked about today. Oh, okay. I do like how uh, red red hair seems to be a common trait within his order. Mm-hmm. The blessing of frat. It's a, oh, I like that. So they say. Yeah. So they say. That's pretty cool. <laughs> actually, I actually really do like that as like a lore tidbit where people would just say that if you have red hair, you have the blessing of frat. That means lead he red lead heads. Hello. I can't talk today. Literally, you couldn't talk earlier today. No, I literally could not talk. I barely got my voice back. So, so say in the world of Alistair, that means redheads are considered lucky. Yep. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, I gotta get, Wait, hold on. Hold on. Waiting. Forgot a thing. Waiting. Very important thing. Very important. Waiting for it. Hold another... On. Another blessing of fret. <gasps> yes, I was waiting for those. Yeah. Oh, and the little ears. I love that. <laughs> That's so cute. Fret actually has them everywhere. I don't think he has a forehead, but he does have them like in his ears. And he has a bunch of shoulders. There we go. I love that. That's great. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. What? Nice. Oh, oh, you're reading a thing. Oh yeah, I was reading a thing. I believe we've done it. We've done it. What two happy bros to end this on. <laughs> glad glad it's not, you know. Sadness or anything yes. that we can't show on Twitch. Yeah. It was actually suggested to me that uh, we should do a an after hour stream and like draw zesty pieces, but all the zesty pieces are covered with like Pokemon or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Like Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, I know you're like you're drawing like a really nice like pen up and all of a sudden Balbazar. God. Yes. Uh, the world doesn't need to see that much of uh, any of my characters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Twitch would allow us. They would stomp us on site. Just be like, nope, stop that. <laughs> this, not allowed. Not allowed. Get out of here. They're like, alright, thank you for joining us for our last episode. Demi points. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch has banned us. That'd be something. Oh god, right. I have yet to get an angry letter from Twitch, so uh, hopefully we're doing okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
So, uh, yeah. I believe we've done it. We've done it! We have done it. So, let me zoom out a bit so we can stare at these two a little better. There we go. Oh, it went crooked. All right, <laughs> so. I don't know if we're going to do a Demiplanes next weekend because I have my sister coming to visit me, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. I'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. But uh, in the off chance, uh, potentially there being a break for next week. And then pick it up in the following week, which by that point... I should be figuring out what my new schedule is for my shiny new job I might be having. Well, you are having. I am having, yes. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching with us. Uh, joining us as we draw out characters that we love, that we enjoy, and hopefully you enjoy along with us as we drew out some fun expressions, a nice little kind of what's the word? I forget words now. Practice. Yes. That's yeah, the word. Good. Sure. Why not? Exercise. That's what I was looking for. A fun little exercise in uh, art and stuff, I guess. I'm losing my brain cells now. Yeah, it's going. It's going fast. It's, go <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Anyway, so follow us on Twitch if you want to watch more of this on Saturdays with us, uh, if you're not already doing that. Uh, chat with us in the Discord. Let us know if there's anything you want us to see, if you want to see us draw for Demi Planes. And uh, as always, hang loose and stay righteous, bros. All right, boy. Say goodbye, Lynn. Bye! <laughs>